Late resistance from Worcestershire, but Derbyshire still holds slight advantage. Derbyshire would head into day three of this contest, looking to build on their already healthy lead against Worcestershire. And the hosts would be hoping that Tom Lace would be the man to lead the way, as he picked up on 101 not out overnight. The pairs would be looking for early wickets to keep themselves in the hunt. And that is what they found. Barnard with the early strike to send Hudson Prentice back to the pavilion, caught behind for four runs. The very next over and Dal was out for a duck. This time Leach the bowler, LBW the decision. But Lace was still there and along with Palladino, these two started to accumulate some morning runs with a steady stream of boundaries. The lead was building as Derbyshire moved past the 350 mark in this second innings. Shortly after, Palladino was gone. Caught by Ferguson off the bowling of Leach for a score of 58, Derbyshire now 9 down. And the innings came to a close in the very next over. Barnard with the delivery to Rample, the catch from Whiteley. And with the end of the innings, lunch was called. A fairly daunting total, but Mitchell would find the first boundary of the innings in the third over. Palladino would get his revenge, Hosin taking the catch behind the stumps. Then Worcestershire were two down the next over. Dell the next batsman to go, Rample trapping him LBW for a duck, Worcestershire 16 for two. Vessels wouldn't last long in the middle either, as Rample struck again. Vessels gone for four runs and not the start that the pairs were looking for. Ferguson and Whiteley, the men in the middle, and they would find some valuable boundaries now. But before long, it was a double whammy delivered by Hudson Prentice, as he found a double wicket maiden. First, he removed the bales of Whiteley, before then delivering the same fate to new batsman Barnard two balls later. Worcestershire five wickets down, and that was time for tea. In the evening session, it was up to Ben Cox and Callum Ferguson to try and show some sticking power for the away side. And they showcased a resilience and determination as they enjoyed a good period of time out in the middle. In fact, having started the evening session at 65 for 5, it wasn't long before they were moving past the 100 mark. Were they going to bat this game into a fourth day? This was starting to become frustrating for Derbyshire as they were hoping to wrap up proceedings, but this pairing were causing problems. Ben Cox was closing in on his half century, but the end of play was to deny him that milestone this evening. Excellent batting from these two to frustrate Derbyshire. Worcestershire will start the final day with five wickets in hand, needing another 217 runs to win. It looked like this game could be done tonight before a superb centurion stand between Ferguson and Cox. All results still possible tomorrow.